YouTube channel. Can you leave a like and subscribe? And today we're gonna to be talking about what to do when you get stuck creatively. That's what I'm, like for instance. So when you are mass producing content, you're most likely to hit like a wall. And when well, that happens, you kind of feel stuck. Like do you ever feel like maybe you've done it all or like you've been you're kind of stuck in this loop of creating the same stuff and you, you just some kind of do feel like uninspired and don't know where to get or like what's the, what's the next move for you i feel like that's when you need to step out of your comfort zone and also reinvent yourself sometimes you need to take a step back from the music and also just study listen to other artists to other creatives and see what they're doing and just see what you can learn and just maybe learn a new genre or attempt to do something else something different i don't like i don't know get a new moment. okay I'm not, I'm not the biggest advocate for like getting a like, ton of plugins or whatever, but sometimes you just need just need a, a fresh perspective or a fresh look or a fresh sound to just get just to get you going. You know what I mean? So, so when you hit when you hit like that point where you feel like you've done it all or you're exhausted, a certain stream like a stream of like of certain style of sound or whatever you've been working on, and it's always important to take a step back and try to like almost reinvent the wheel and just come back with something different because in that in that challenge you also make it more exciting more intriguing for you because now you're working on something that's big for you to you that's that's like okay now this is different i've never done this before so how do i do it again like that that, that gives you that dopamine spike again like that you, you are you are hyped again like okay this is a new challenge for you something new to conquer so just switching up how you do things, like maybe start a project in a different door from what you usually do, or like uh, write backwards instead of writing the song from the from the front, just start from the like start from the end and then write it backwards. Just do different, try different things, or jump on someone else's song. Just do different things just to keep you, uh, just to keep the process more interesting. Because once it becomes, if you do the same, if you do it over and over, it becomes more of a routine and kind of like just starts to become a bit more suffocating so it's up to you to be spontaneous and actually bring back the excitement back into that music because you, you feel in love with the creative process <laughs> not the repetitive process of <laughs> doing the same thing so the, the, it's kind of like the, the less creative you, how you have to be the more suffocating that actually becomes for you so it's all about how can you, how you how can you get more control or how can you push yourself beyond certain boundaries and those boundaries might be might seem scary but they are the things that also keep you interested and they're also the things that keep you at the forefront of innovation because innovation is never really innovation like comes out of like discomfort it's never really a comfortable place like no one is inventing something new that will make your life easier if if, if, they, if they, didn't, they didn't acknowledge like that we have a problem here first of all you need to realize okay there is a problem here and you need to wanna like how can i improve this that's the only way you're gonna be more innovative and uh, be bound to grow and it's scary because every time you venture into something different a new sound or whatever you are most likely to make a lot of mistakes but I don't really like that. That's life. That's how you learn. That's how you learn. You make by making those mistakes, you're learning. Okay, like you, you find that some of the mistakes you're making, like okay, I that was a mistake, but it sounds right. You know what I mean? Like innovative. So basically, you sharpen your skills by actually doing the things that are that most likely usually seem uncomfortable, and also choosing them with what you already know, and finding a balance between your sound and. Uh, what's around you or the emotions you are at where you are in life or whatever you, you feel inspired to do but basically just don't stay in your bubble of like this is who i am this is what i do uh, expand that and you, you find your life to be more fulfilling to be more of an adventure really if, if, you, if, if you see her on the same block over and over and over and over like it just becomes it's, just, it's, it's, it's no longer no matter how cool your, your, your wood is it's no longer that cool because you've seen everything it's like just another day, you know what I mean. But the moment you take the like a right, a right turn to some some other like new area that I've never been at, it's just like exciting. It's like an eye open. Like, oh, what's this? What's this? You know what I mean. So that's also good as a creative. That's also good as a person who's, who's trying to move ahead with what they're doing. Yeah, and I hope that helped you out. My name is Omar. Just subscribe, like, leave a share, and.